Hi, this is Roy Furr from Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. And today I wanna to ask you a question. I wanna ask you, what is your word of the year? Now, I'll tell you my word of the year for this year, for 2018 in just a minute. But first I wanna talk a little bit about this concept of having a word of the year. So this is something I started last year. And the idea is that you, you define a word for yourself for the year to help you stay focused on whatever it is that you want to achieve. And this can be personal, it can be health related, it can be wealth related, it can be related to your career, your business, it can be related to whatever. Now I'm specifically in, in, in my life and especially my business, I'm applying the word of the year concept to define actions that will move my business forward and help me achieve my, my business goals. And last year in 2017, my word of the year was traction. And that's a reference to the book Traction by Gino Wickman, which is an entrepreneurial operating system, a operating system, a, a series of processes for planning out the, the, the projects in your business that will move you towards your vision, towards your ideal future for your business. And I'll tell you what, it was very effective. Prior to 2017, my primary income was as a, as a copywriter, as a freelance copywriter. And I've been successful at that. And through 2017, I've continued to be successful at that. But I've always thought, I want to do more. I want to share myself more. I want to teach more. I want to... Uh, I want to share all of my experience in marketing with other people like me who are simply trying to create marketing campaigns in an effective way. And I made the plan through the traction system and implemented the plan through the traction system to launch my BTMS Insiders training library. And that is an online library of my training that helps, it's, it's, it's built around the idea that I share ideas that grow businesses. And if it weren't for the word traction in 2017, I may not have actually launched that in 2017. And now it is a, an important part of where my business is today. So the question is, what do I do in 2018 to, uh, what word do I define to move on to my next goals and my next goals and my next goals? And when I looked at traction and when I was having my annual meeting about my, about my business, I, I was looking at it and thinking, okay, so I actually, I actually set some pretty big stretch goals for 2017, for what it is that I wanted to achieve. And uh, to be honest, even though I, I did meet some of my most important goals, and I'm, I'm not wanting, actually, 2017 was my best year ever in terms of, of revenue within my business, uh, I also did not achieve some of the things that I wanted to achieve. And, and so I had to look at where did I fall down? What opportunities do I have to improve? Where can I do things better such that some of the challenges that I faced in 2017 will not be challenges that I face again in 2018 or into the future? And I thought, okay, well, so, so one specific thing that I was looking at was in, in the traction system, you define where you expect your revenue and profits to be in the next 12 months, and then any measurables that contribute to what that revenue and profit picture looks like. And what I had done previously for that specific uh, system was all of the measurables that I put under revenue and profits were basically reflections of having already achieved the result that I wanted. And what I realized was that if all that I'm doing, if all that I'm doing is focusing on the results and not focusing on all the little processes between here and there that are going to get me to those results, it's going to be actually a lot harder to get to those results. Yes, you have to dream big. Yes, that's important. But you also have to look at all the steps along the way, all the processes that you have to implement and all the things that are measurables that, that are predictive of hitting those other goals. And so I looked at that and, I, and, and that was my epiphany for what my word for 2018 has to be. It has to be process. I have to look at what are my processes for, for publishing in such a way that the, the people who are members of BTMS Insiders get an incredible experience that is in line with or beyond their expectations. I have to look at what are my processes for delivering an incredible client experience such that they get the results that I, that I aim to achieve for them? What are my 
processes that have to be in place for bringing in people into BTMS Insiders, including what are all the steps, what are all the processes that can be implemented beforehand? A great example being how many Facebook ads am I going to write this year? How many funnels am I going to set up that don't actually directly sell BTMS Insiders, but that bring people into my business? What are those going to look like? Uh, and, and measure the the measurables need to not be what is this end result over here. It needs to be what is the process that needs to take place for the actual creation of the elements that are going to lead people that are going to bring people into my business. And on the on the client side, what systems do I need to have in place? What processes do I need to have in place that are going to ensure a steady flow of the type of client projects that I want to t tackle in 2018 and beyond? Now, specifically for that. Uh, you know, this is, this is the simpatico nature of my business. I decided that in 2018, one of the things that I want to do is I want to start working with more nonprofits, but I don't have a reputation in the nonprofit space. And so I'm dealing with some of the same challenges that a lot of, of other copywriters, consultants, coaches, service providers deal with in that I need to go out and approach clients that I believe that I can provide value to, but that don't know me from Adam, that don't know my reputation, that don't, don't understand who I am in the same way that my, my clients and others in, in my small industry know me. And so I said, what systems do I need to have in place? What processes do I need to have in place? What are the measurables along the way that are going to get me the results that I want? And so, for example, one measurable that is process based for getting clients that I looked at is, is okay, how many clients can I get on the phone every month? What should be the, the goal of the number of clients that I'm going to get on the phone every month, potential clients, such that I can have a conversation with them about how I can help them and make an offer for a, a, a first project, like a first date type project that will uh, that will get me the steady flow of clients in that industry doing the kind of work that I want to do. And what is that system going to look like? What, what kind of feeder content do I need to put in there? What does the system need to look like to get them to raise their hand and express interest that they do want to get on the phone with me? What does the, 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 the process need to look like for the conversation that I'm going to have with them? What does the process need to look like for proposing a, uh, that, that first date? Uh, project. What what are all those processes that need to take place, and what are the measurables that I can that I can insert along the way that that represent how I'm going to create that opportunity for myself? And so, in 2018, as you can tell, I'm thinking a lot more about the process, a lot more about all the early things that I can do that have a predictive effect on the results that I want to achieve. Instead of just focusing way over here on, on the results, it's what can I do today to move the process forward for getting those results in the future. And if, if I can win by implementing the processes that I know work because I've, I've tested them, uh, if I can win by, focus on, by focusing on, okay, how can I do that process? How can I do that process? How can I do that process? What are the individual wins that I can get today that say that I move that process forward, that I'm creating those measurables? That is exactly, that is exactly what it's going to take to break through my, my biggest uh, ambitions for 2018. And, uh, you know, there are other examples of this certainly in my life without, uh, without going too deep into this. Other examples are, for example, uh, September 1st of 2016, I started stepping on the scale every morning after I woke up. And I put the, the number that the scale told me and the time into a spreadsheet. And I also set goals for myself. Where do I want my weight to be? What is a, a healthy weight uh, for me? And how do I want to feel uh, when, I, when I actually achieve that weight? And I've dropped more than 30 pounds. I've hit my weight loss goal. I'm not really trying. I'm trying to maintain now and stay healthy while also improving my physical fitness. As I, I, as I started to get more movement and mobility and feeling good about my body, uh, when I lost that weight, I also decided to implement a process of doing a certain amount of kettlebell every morning. I do, I do a five minute interval workout with kettlebells every morning. And it is a way to, to get the results that I want of feeling strong, feeling fit, feeling healthy. Uh, and, and by focusing on that process, have I done my five minutes today? I know that it will eventually get me the results, even if it feels bad to do the process today. I mean, oftentimes doing these little task things 
uh, it can it can it can feel uh, like not what you want to do. You don't want to necessarily pick up the phone and and make that potential client phone call. You don't necessarily want to get write another email and face rejection from a potential client. You don't necessarily want to do those things. But if you follow the process and the process has been proven to get results, it will work. And that's that's why for me, 2018 is the year of what are the processes that I haven't implemented yet that I need to implement to continue moving my business forward and achieving my next goal and my next goal and my next goal and my next goal. What are those processes? Traction was a great process for 2017, but what are the next processes that I need to implement? And that's why I made process my word of the year for 2018. If you haven't chosen a word of the year for 2018, number one, choose one. Decide, you know, do you have relationship goals? Do you have health goals? Do you have uh, wealth or, or career goals? What, what result do you want in your life? And then what can you focus on this year? that will get you closer to that result, that will make you successful in the achievement of that result. And honestly, process is a pretty dang universal word. So if you don't have one, if you're struggling to think of one, my recommendation is to just borrow mine. Because if you focus on processes this year, how can you implement the processes that are going to move you closer to your goal? Then that will continue to get you better and better and better results in line with whatever it is that you want to achieve. So my name is Roy Furr. Uh, this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets Video Friday. Go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com and subscribe for my daily essays and to get these videos on Friday. Uh, and, and if you have, uh, have any comments, be sure to leave them with this video. And I look forward to seeing you again next Video Friday.